Hi guys, it's me Harry here, and today I want to talk to you guys about money. So if you're anything like me, when you think about money, it brings up a lot of emotions. So when I used to think about money, the emotions that I felt was fear, anxiety, scarcity, so nothing good. And I definitely trace this back to my childhood because even though I wouldn't say that my family was poor by any means, when my parents moved here to America, they had to start completely from scratch and raise three young kids at the same exact time. So the feelings that surrounded money when I was growing up was that there was never enough money. So recently I've been diving into all of this law of attraction, manifestation and energy and all of that stuff and it's really made me look into my relationship with money and all the emotions that I have with it. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the uh, concept of law of attraction, I'll link some great videos below that explain it much better than I can. But basically it talks about how we attract what we put our energy into so for example if you are a negative person well you're just going to attract more negative things so it's the idea that we control our reality from our thoughts so like most people something that i want to attract and manifest is financial stability this is so important to me and more importantly is financial stability on my own so i don't want to have it with a partner or have it come from my parents or anything like that i want to do this by myself and this doesn't necessarily mean that i have to have a ton of money it just means that for me i just don't want to live paycheck to paycheck like my parents did and I just don't want to have to think about money at all. I want it to be an ever-present thing that I don't have to think or worry about. The next thing I learned is that you have to change the emotions that you have associated with money. So if you have a relationship to money, maybe from growing up in your childhood, that it's just something that is hard to get or it's something that you never have enough of, well, it's not going to flow naturally to you. So for me, before, you know, when I think about money, uh, it, it brings up a lot of sadness and, and fear because uh, it makes me think of, you know, a time when I'm at the cash register with my mom and I'm so anxious that her card is going to get declined or, you know, not being able to hang out with my friends on the weekends because they're going to the movies and I can't ask for extra money for that. So those are the, the emotions and ideas that I had associated with money. So I had to decide that I am going to let go of all of these emotions that I had attached with it and start all over again and try to feel that I have enough and that I am an abundant person and that money comes easily to me. And I know that it's a little bit hard to imagine, especially if you don't have it right now. You know, if you don't have a bunch of money in your bank account and you can't see it, it's a little bit hard to change your attitude towards it and, and to feel like you're a rich person. But before it can materialize in the, in the actual world, it has to exist in your mind. So no matter what your situation is, how much debt you have, how many bills you have to pay, just feel like you are a rich person who money flows easily to. And I think that's the first step to attract abundance to yourself is to already believe that you already have it. Another thing that has helped me to change my relationship to money is that you have to tell yourself that you deserve it, that you deserve to be financially stable, you deserve to have the income that you want, and you deserve to have the life that you want. So and a great example of this was when I moved into the place I live now, I had to take like one month to really realize that this is a life that I deserve to live. I, for like the first month, I felt like such an imposter. Like, why do I deserve to live here? There was a long time that I just did not feel like I deserve to live in such a nice house, in a nice neighborhood, and that I was just an imposter taking somebody else's place who deserved to be here. So I think for me, just being in a struggle all the time was just so part of my identity and just a part of who I was that when I actually got something that I really, really wanted, I didn't know how to process it. And I just felt like it's a mistake, like I'm not supposed to be here. So it took me a really long time to, to realize that I deserve this and that I'm not here by accident and I deserve to live in a place that I'm comfortable. 
So it all begins with changing the narrative you have in your head. So if you feel like you are just always struggling and you your family has always struggled and that's just a part of who you are, you have to change that narrative. You deserve to have the life that you want, the lifestyle that you want. You deserve to, to have the income that you want and you deserve all the good things to happen to you. The last tip that I have to give to you guys is to give gratitude and I think this could be applied in all levels but particularly when it comes to money you have to give gratitude for everything so what I mean by this is that for example when you're paying your bills and I know this is difficult because you know especially when you get your paycheck and you're all excited and then all of a sudden it's all gone once you paid your bills well you have to change your mindset on that because if you think about it your bills are what allows you to live the life that you want and the lifestyle that you want. So for example, if you have a phone bill, well, that allows you to communicate with your friends and family. If you have rent to pay, well, you're providing a house for yourself, a roof over your head and a place to sleep at night. So that is something to be so grateful for. Or if you have a car payment, you know, it gets you from place to place comfortably. So those are all things that you have to be grateful for. So I'm gonna challenge you that next time you're paying your bills, and I know this is gonna be difficult, but if, you know, once you're, you paid off your phone bill, give a little bit of gratitude. So l say a little thank you in your head for, for being able to pay for something that is valuable to you. So those are all the tips that I have for you today regarding money and trust me, this is an ongoing process for me. I mean, even making this video, uh, it has brought up a lot of anxiety. It took me a really long time to record this because it's just bringing up so much. So I'm definitely on that journey with you. I'm hoping that all of these tips are useful to you and will bring about a positive change in your life. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today and I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.